What is it like to teach at a cyber charter school? Today, we're talking to Laura Afshari, a high school English and history teacher here at PA Virtual Charter School. Laura is going to share what it's like to teach at a cyber charter school. Well, I think that's a common misconception that some people have when they're thinking about educating with a cyber charter, and it's not the case at all. In fact, I think that I've been able to develop relationships with my students far beyond what I would be able to in a regular brick and mortar school. And that's really because of the platforms that we have and all of the different forms of technology that kids are using to communicate. I can both see them and hear them in class, and they're using their typing tool they're in the chat box, so I'm seeing what they're writing in real time. We also do a lot of work with Google Docs and collaborative work. So between the live classes and the conferencing on the phone and the interpersonal relationships that we develop through clubs and organizations and outings, I would have to say that I, I know my students far better than what most people would expect. I think the biggest benefit for me as a teacher, having been here for 13 years and then eight years prior at a regular brick and mortar school, I can really say that I've grown exponentially as a teacher over these past 13 years. Um, the students that I get in my classroom are so diverse. They come from all over the state and nowhere else am I going to be able to have this kind of like microcosm of society in one classroom at the same time, all kind of working towards um, a common goal, if you will. And I think that for, for me personally and, and professionally, the opportunities that I have to grow as a teacher and just really kind of like as a person with our school has been incredible. Um, learning new things, learning new technology, different platforms that we use, going to various conferences and learning all about the new stuff that's out there for teachers to really sink their teeth into and then bring to the students. It's really an amazing opportunity. Well, first of all, parents are our lifeline. Without the parent, first of all, there's no student, obviously, <laughs> and uh, we are indebted to our parents for the partnership that they bring to the table with us. Having a strong parent at home with the student provides us with a primary teacher at home who, in partnership with the actual teachers, really upholds the student to a standard that is agreed upon uh, prior, sets the learning uh, goals for each individual student, and really allows a student to learn at his or her own pace. So doing this in partnership with the parent is critical for us and our school, because without the parent, we're missing that super important piece of the puzzle, and that's the oversight and the guidance and the expertise that they bring to the table as well in being their child's primary teacher. Well, like with any job, there are inherent challenges when you're working with kids, especially, in my case, teenagers. So sometimes students, just like in a regular brick and mortar school, uh, they can become disengaged. Now, as a teacher, and I know other teachers feel the same way who work in a cyber charter, we know that just like a television program, they can change the channel when we're in class. So being really engaging and um, upbeat and uh, confident on camera in, during a live class is essential. So really maintaining and keeping student interest and engagement in class can sometimes be a challenge, but again, with the partnership that we have with our parents and having a learning coach there who is kind of monitoring things and making sure that the student is there and, and present and engaged, we really try to uh, keep them stuck on our channel instead of changing it. <laughs> student growth, hands down. Once I get a student in class, we typically do some type of um, pre-testing and finding out what they know presently. And then of course, throughout the year and throughout the semester in high school, just watching them blossom. I have uh, students anywhere from eighth grade to 10th grade at the moment. And seeing them over a period of time, because I do teach students for more than one year, teaching various subjects, just seeing how they have blossomed and matured as students is 
a really wonderful thing to see. Not only that, but their socialization. I think that their interpersonal skills really are enhanced by being a cyber charter school student. They have to communicate well, both in verbal um, forms and also through their written communication. And uh, it, it's, it's great to see an email come in, you know, from a ninth grader and see how that has evolved over time and getting those wonderfully written communications from students that when they, when they get a little older. I would say don't hesitate to really give it a shot. Um, don't hesitate to imagine what the benefits to your family could be having a cyber charter school student in your home. Um, I think sometimes folks get afraid that uh, they're going to be taking their child out of a typical environment and the fear of the unknown as to what's going to happen in the home is, is something that weighs on people's minds. But as a cyber charter school teacher, I really feel like we support our families more so than any kid would get in a regular brick and mortar school. We really take a look at the whole child and having that child sitting in your home learning um, and providing that oversight for that child, I think is a, a, a blessing. That, that parents have um, and report back to us. Um, so I would, I, would, I would really encourage them to give it a shot, even if they're a little bit on the fence about it. I think that they would reap the benefits from our model of education more than they ever could really imagine.